Welcome to Healthcare Entrepreneur Academy, where we seek to educate, motivate, and inspire professionals into starting their own healthcare businesses. Learn from leading healthcare entrepreneurs and other business experts as they share their journey and provide a glimpse into their playbooks for success. Loaded with valuable insights and actionable strategies, this show will guide you on your path to freedom. Now, please welcome your host, entrepreneur, healthcare practitioner, and MBA, Jason Duplatt. This episode is sponsored by my free presentation for the Ketamine Academy. If you're tired of long hours, constantly being on call, or having to give up your nights, weekends, and holidays, all for an employer that only thinks of you as a productivity number that they're trying to maximize, then it's time to break free from the hospital grind, become your own boss, and finally take control of your professional trajectory. It's time you start your own practice. I know it sounds really scary, maybe even a little impossible. I get it. You got student loans, you're working tons of hours, and you may not even be a physician. Well, I am here to tell you that it's absolutely possible. Starting my own clinic was exactly exactly how I started my healthcare entrepreneur career. And there's one specific type of clinic that almost anybody can open. Ketamine therapy is one of the most promising treatments in the fight against depression, PTSD, and chronic pain that we've ever seen. And thousands of patients across the country are looking for clinics in their area. The problem is that there aren't enough yet. And these patients need someone like you to open a ketamine practice in your hometown. Go to ketamineacademy.com forward slash presentation for a no cost 60 minute training on how to gain more freedom by opening up your own clinic. On the presentation, you'll discover why opening your own private clinic is a better decision than working more overtime or going back to school for another degree, why this one specific niche clinic is the easiest to open and doesn't require a bunch of cash to start, and how anyone can open this type of clinic, even if you're not a physician, by just following a few simple steps. So to register for this free training, just go to ketamineacademy.com forward slash presentation. Hey, what's going on, everybody? And welcome back to the Healthcare Entrepreneur Academy podcast. I am Jason Duprat, and I am your host. We are back here again for another Tactical Tuesday episode. And on these episodes, I spend most of my time and energy helping you learn some tactical takeaways that might help you in your business. So I share things that we've been learning, reading about, things that we've been studying about in courses, things that we've implemented in our business that we found helpful. And, um, even occasionally some some frequently asked questions or topics that I think that you may really need to get a little bit further into to have an understanding of how to be really successful in the entrepreneurial world. And so today I want to talk about what in the world is a funnel. I remember when I first got into creating my online course, a course is, was course at the time, people kept talking about funnels. And I hired this marketing agency. And I remember when I first heard the term, I had no idea what that even meant. And so I feel like there's probably a decent number of you who are listening right now who probably haven't heard of a funnel either. I mean, obviously, we train, spend most of our training in clinical aspects and very little in business, uh, very little in marketing. And so just sort of popped into my mind that maybe people are wondering what in the heck a funnel is. And it's pretty important. So I figured it would be a great topic for um, a Tactical Tuesday episode. So here we are. And the best way to sort of think about a funnel is essentially a customer journey. So if you're selling anything, whether that's in person or online, there's some sort of a process that a business should have to walk the customer from point A, which is just learning about your business to point B, which is becoming a paying customer. And so that is the customer journey and a funnel is a way to sort of represent that in, in marketing terms, marketing lingo. And so it's just, if you were to visualize what a funnel is, it's just what it sounds like. It is a, you know, visually you have those cylindrical things that are big at the top and have a small, narrow opening at the bottom. That's what we're referring to here. So if you've ever used a funnel in the kitchen to pour liquid or maybe flour from one container to the next, or you've changed your oil and had to fill up your oil, that's the funnel we're talking about. So the very top is essentially where, you know, it's really wide. So there's, it can hold a large volume at the very top, right? So that's the same sort of thing when it comes to marketing. So essentially the very top represents just traffic that's that's aware that you exist, that your business exists, that you have these services to offer. 
And as the funnel gets towards the bottom, which represents, um, you know, when somebody comes out the bottom, they come out as a paying customer, essentially. So conceptually, the funnel in concept has a bunch of holes in it. So it's leaking. You have a leaky funnel. So you have a lot of people who come into your funnel who are aware of you. You've let them know that you exist and whoever comes out down the bottom, that number of people is going to be much, much smaller because there's holes in the funnel in that people will sort of fall out because they've, they're moving their way down the funnel. You're interacting with them. You're nurturing them. But they may just think that it's not for them or they change their mind or they decide to do something else. And so they just sort of fall out of the funnel, which is okay. You, not everybody is going to become a paying customer of yours. But the whole point of the funnel is to sort of develop and nurture a relationship from the time that somebody who just enters, so they're just aware that you offer some sort of a product or service, and you want essentially during the funnel process or the customer journey, which is what the funnel represents, you want to walk them through the process of what it takes to, to become a customer, to want to become a customer is probably better said. So it's essentially you're holding their hand through the process of becoming a customer. And so how does that actually look? In, in the real world, what in the world, how do you, how do you hold their hand if you're trying to, to help them become a customer? Well, most often when somebody enters your funnel, it's, it's through what we call an opt-in. So in the digital world, you, that's usually some sort of a free trial product or something that can be delivered pretty easily online. In the brick and mortar world, maybe that is a free consultation, but something to where you Provide something of value to someone, a potential customer, ideally. And then in return, they provide you with their contact information. And you will utilize that contact information after you've delivered that piece of value to them to essentially nurture and develop and build that relationship. And so oftentimes that, that freebie that I was talking about to get somebody to opt in and provide their contact information, whether that's an email address or a phone number, or a physical address. Those typical freebies in the digital world would be something like maybe an ebook, or maybe just a chapter of an ebook, or a video lesson, or maybe a mini training, like a, a webinar or a presentation. Possibly a challenge could be, like a really short challenge could be done for free. Or maybe even just delivering uh, some sort of a checklist or worksheet. So those are the types of things that people will find valuable enough to provide you with their contact information. In the physical world, it could be, you know, maybe free samples, or maybe it could be free consultation, teleconsultation maybe, uh, something of value, but something that's not going to be completely detrimental um, as far as time consumption. And so that's sort of how people enter your funnel. And then, like I said, you, you will collect their contact information and you will nurture them however you feel is most appropriate for your business model. So if you want to mail them a letter, if you want to email them, which is probably the most common way because it doesn't cost much other than time to email people. So that's probably one of the most common things you'll see. And the email sort of sequence is, is what they call a nurture sequence. So it's designed to help provide more value, help whomever you're sending it to realize that you're actually, you're there to help them provide value and you're not some, some sort of Nigerian prince sending money, some sort of a scammer. So th the whole point of these email sequences, and it could be really short. It could just be maybe three or four emails to start with. It's providing more value, more information about you and how you want to help them, things like that. And it's just like I said, it's sort of holding their hand, developing that relationship and sort of walking them one step closer towards becoming ultimately a customer. And that is sort of how that whole funnel thing is conceptualized. I really, it drives me kind of nuts because I, now I've, you know, now I've been in the space for so long that several years that I'm just sort of sick of hearing the term funnel, but it's, it is a really good representation in that a lot of people are going to become aware of your business and only a few are going to come out the bottom of the funnel as a paying customer. And your job is to increase the percentage that come out the bottom wanting to be a paying customer. And that's called a conversion. When somebody is just generally aware of your business and when they make a, a purchase with you, that's called a conversion. And so you'll, 
if you're tracking these numbers, which most businesses do, the good ones anyways, they will have an idea of what percentage of customers are being converted in their sales funnel. And the idea is to improve the conversion. So maybe to improve your conversions, you have to adjust your copy. Maybe the way that you put out those emails isn't really resonating. Maybe it's not delivering enough value. And so it takes a lot of work. You have to really work to hone in the process of that sort of nurture sequence. And that's just part of being being in business. It's it's constant improvement, constant metric tracking, and that's essentially what, what a funnel is. So if you guys have any more questions about the funnel process, definitely feel free to reach out. You can find me in the Healthcare Entrepreneur Academy Facebook group and uh, let us know what your funnel is. I highly encourage you to post sort of what your customer journey looks like and how your, your funnel is set up. And so you would describe what interactions and when and where you are connecting with your customer once they be, once they sort of opt in and give you their contact information. So most typically most people will draw these funnels out in some sort of a diagram, but you could, you could also sort of use arrow diagrams or arrows to sort of indicate the customer journey and if you guys have any questions about that at all, definitely put up a drawing in the Healthcare Entrepreneur Academy Facebook group. If you just want to type it out and use arrows to sort of demonstrate the customer journey, and if you want input on where or what you should say to, to uh, sort of nurture that relationship with your potential customer, then definitely post it in the group. Ask each other for feedback. I'm in there almost every day. To find that Facebook group, you'll just go to facebook.com and in the very top search bar there, You'll just um, search Healthcare Entrepreneur Academy. Also, I want to let you guys know that there's going to be two Healthcare Entrepreneur Academy Facebook groups uh, in the very near future, like in the next week or so. So the first group, which is the original group, is going to be called Healthcare Entrepreneur Academy Group for Digital Businesses. And then we're going to create an offshoot, just going to be another group. The only thing that's changing is that it's going to be the Healthcare Entrepreneur Academy Facebook group for brick and mortar businesses. This way we can sort of keep the conversations in their most relevant groups because the conversations are very different in both of those sort of digital entrepreneurship versus physical brick and mortar entrepreneurship. So it'll make it very easy to get the most value out of those groups for everybody who's in them. If they're a digital entrepreneur in the healthcare space, you'll just join that group And that way, all the conversations are geared towards you. If you have a brick and mortar or if you're interested in starting a brick and mortar business, you'll jump in the other group and vice versa. Or you can join both or or, uh, whichever. But I just wanted to let you guys know that that's coming. So be on the lookout for that. I will make an announcement post in the Facebook group. And uh, that'll have the link to the new Healthcare Entrepreneur Academy Facebook group for brick and mortar businesses. And um, one other exciting thing that we have coming up soon with the Healthcare Entrepreneur Academy brand is going to be a new YouTube channel. So we have the Jason Duprat YouTube channel, which is where we publish all the Tactical Tuesday episodes. The full episodes go up on YouTube. We've been doing that since the start. We haven't really promoted it much. We've published a few of the live interviews as well, and we will probably go through and edit all those and add those to the channel. But we're going to start putting more content on YouTube video uh, explainers um, related to uh, brick and mortar businesses and and digital businesses. And so you'll be able to consume content in a totally different way with uh, visuals. Just picked up a uh, Microsoft Surface Pro. So I'll be able to share drawings and diagrams and things like that to help sort of aid in the learning process. And um, definitely uh, be on the lookout for that soon. We'll post those links in the Healthcare Entrepreneur Academy Facebook group as well. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Definitely feel free to reach out to me in the Healthcare Entrepreneur Academy Facebook group. I look forward to engaging with you there. And you have a great day. Talk to you later. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the Healthcare Entrepreneur Academy. Want to connect with more like-minded healthcare entrepreneurs and professionals? Just head over to jasondepratt.com slash group to join our Facebook family for real-time interactions, insight, and resources to get you one step closer to realizing your goal. We look forward to interacting with you, but until then, we'll catch you on the next episode of the Healthcare Entrepreneur Academy.